Welcome to module 9. In this module you learn about steel connections with Revit. Steel connections can be added to your Revit model which improves the level of detail and the quality of your drawing output. There are over 130 standard connections and you can also create custom connections when required. Revit has a dedicated ribbon to add connections as well as other fabrication elements such as plates, welds, holes, bolts, shear studs and anchors. A number of modifiers are also available to cut and notch steel elements. Standard connections can be modified to create custom connections or a custom connection can be created from the fabrication elements. When structural connections are added to the existing Revit elements, the elements are converted to fabrication shapes. Even if the structural connection is deleted, the elements will remain as fabrication shapes. Due to the elements changing to fabrication shapes, Careful consideration should be made prior to adding connections. You may prefer to add the connections and produce the fabrication documentation from Autodesk Advanced Steel. The Revit model can be exported to Advanced Steel and the connections added there. Before adding any steel connections, you should take the following steps to prepare your Revit model. Columns and beams cannot be split or cut once steel connections have been applied. As mentioned in the previous slide, Revit will transform the standard elements such as beams and columns to fabrication shapes to support details such as notches, holes and other cuts. When the elements are converted to fabrication shapes, the traditional tools such as cut, split and align cannot be used. When adding steel connections or fabrication elements to a beam or column, existing cuts and steel edits will be ignored. If you try to add a connection, you'll notice that we have a warning dialog, which is shown in the image below, and this is stating that, and this is stating that start and end join cutbacks or cuts made with reference planes will be ignored. So this short video introduces structural connections within Revit and outlines some of the steps that you will need to take to create a model with structural connections. In the next video, you will learn how to prepare your Revit model ready for structural connections.